So in this video, GDP breakdown uh, works some magic with a little formula, and you'll see how it goes. So first, we'll have GDP equals GDP, and this is what we'll first have. So that's first step. So let's say that GDP. I'll just add in a new uh, variable, and that will be F over F. And that's times that by GDP. Now F over F, we know is still one, no matter what, because they're the same thing. When something over something that is the same thing is equals one. And we times it by GDP, well it's, that's still equal GDP, so then the equality still stands. Now we'll have GDP and we'll add in another variable. And that variable will be F E equals F E. And we still have our F over F. And we'll still have GDP. And this is still equal to GDP because like the F over F, F E over F E is still one. So then any one times anything is equal to that anything. So then we can work our magic to do this. GDP equals F over F E over F over GDP over FE. Now, this looks like a pretty tough formula at first, but it's actually pretty simple. As long as we have two things, and that those two things are FE and FE and F, as long as these we have two of these at the bottom, then the equation is still equal to GDP. Because if we take GDP and we times that by F and FE, we'll have GDP times F times FE. So essentially, you have FE times GDP, GDP times F, all over F over FE, all over F over FE. So it doesn't matter how the form will look like, as long as they equal GDP. So then we could take out our F and we could just have uh, we could just have GDP over F E on F and uh, F E F E over F or we could also have F E uh, and times GDP over F and F over FE. That works too. These two are still equal to GDP because we have an F and an FE at the bottom and we have an FE and GDP and F on the top. So let's, it, so if this, this still isn't clear, work this out with numbers. Let's say that F is equal to 2 and FE is equal to 3 and GDP is equal to 5. Well, no matter how you calculate it, the answer will still be whatever the answer is for uh, GDP. So that's the thing I want to talk about. And that's the magic formula that uh, I've just shown you. That no matter how we manipulate this, as long as F and FE are at the bottom, then the then whatever you calculate will still equal GDP. Now, besides that point, I, uh, there's, two thi there's two things I want to talk about. And I'll make these, this really short. That F is not a random variable that I just decided to pick up, but it is the factor supply. And we'll probably talk about this later in uh, subsequent videos, but yeah. And FE is the employed factors. The employed factors. Employed factors. And and GDP over FE is something we call productivity. Productivity. And this would be equal to our factor utilization rate. Factor utilization rate. Utilization rate.
and again f is our factor supply so f factor supply yeah we'll just star this factor supply so gdp over fv kind of makes sense how much how much uh how much value can our country make using the employed factors that we ha have? Fe over F, it kind of makes sense too. Uh, how we use, utilize uh, our people out of all out of everybody available. How well, how much people are employed? That means how 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 are we utilizing uh, the the resources that we have? And by resources, I'm talking about humans, probably. And that's all I want to talk about in this video. And I hope I kept it relatively short. Please come back for aggregate expenditure in the next video.